Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another Mullet Man episode. It's currently 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm going crappie fishing. Got a, uh, got to grab a pole real quick. Oh, that'll do. Got my pole. I'm meeting my buddy Hayden at his house. I'll see you guys at the lake. Hayden, I'm getting in his way of backing the boat down. Uh, me and Hayden are with his dad this morning. Gonna do a little crappie fishing. The wind is blowing, it's hot, but uh, there's only one boat ramp open too. So we're trying to get in here before all these other boats get out here and hopefully we can go get on some crappie. But I think the hardest part about today is gonna be getting on a brush pile and staying on a brush pile. Um, Cause this wind is just awful, so. We're gonna see what we can get done and we get a few crappie in the boat. Guys, we're pulling up to the first spot. Fishing about 10 to 15 foot of water. Uh, Hayden's grandpa set out brush piles in this lake many, many years ago and Hayden's been fishing them ever since. So. I'm gonna try to get on a few crappie this morning and uh, hopefully beat the wind. Nope. Oh, Gasper goo. Oh my gosh. The goo goose. What are you doing down there, buddy? Get out of here. Come off this limb. There's a little bitty tiny crappie. There's a keeper. Oh, there he is. Number first keeper of the day. Took us a little while, but we got it done. Do you want me to uh, put this pour this ice out? Maybe just throw it right on top. Uh oh. That's on. Keeper. We've got two fish, you ain't struggling. Heck, they fight though. I'd keep you buddy, but today's your lucky day. Happy master. Finally. Been pretty slow. He's pooping all over. All over your phone. Quick from the shut. That's a that's a good one, huh? Yeah. Finally getting into. Yep. go oh that was a good one that was a good one what color jig are you using It's a good one, huh? Nice little one. Little? Oh, I forgot you had that. Yeah, yeah. That rod, that rod oh. was big like that. Ultra light rod. I'm in the brush. That, that super filler. I know. Gosh dang it, Hayden. That's a good one. Ch 
chunk. They put, oh my gosh, I thought that was a fish. Yeah. We've had to make a few moves today. It's been pretty tough. It's so windy, so sorry if you can't hear me. My glasses just flew off. I just ordered another pair like yesterday, so uh, it'll be all right. But our last brush pile to fish. It's like 10:30, and uh, I think we got 10 or 11 in the in the box. But we're gonna see if we can get a few more, and then head to the house and clean them up. Oh, I'm not going right there. There we go. He'll keep. He's choked it. He might not keep. Double? There we go. Oh, no. Come here, buddy. Did you break off, buddy? No. Oh, yeah. Here's a keeper. Now we're talking. Found the big piece. Crappy. Head to the house, clean them up. Have the crappie. Back to Hayden's. Uh, the wind is still kicking. There's a tractor going in the background, so sorry if you can hear that. We're about to uh, lay these crappie out, see how many we got, and then uh, clean them up. Hayden went to go get the fillet knives and some bags, so I'll show you guys how I clean a crappie, and then. Uh, we're going to go to the house and make up a delicious crappie dish. Ah. See how many we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen on the money. You guessed it, Hayden. We're fishing for our cutting board. Swam away. It's been a little windy here lately. What a save. It's a keeper. This is how I clean a crappie. Electric fillet knife. Me and Hayden usually go out and wear them out. Today was a pretty uh, pretty slow day, but make a cut right behind the gill plate. Come down the backbone. Flip it over, take it off the skin. There's one big old crappie slab. Same thing on this side. Watch this. Oh, he tried. He just couldn't do it. They're tearing it up. All right, got your fillets uh, skinned and off the fish itself. Take your little knife. You waste a lot of meat with the uh, electric knife. Run your knife below those ribs. 
then you come over here and cut it out this way as well. Alright, they'll eat this. Who's gonna get it? There he goes. That's a seven pounder. And that is it. So, me and Hayden are gonna finish these up and uh, Y'all enjoy this little fish feeding frenzy, and then we'll see you at the house when we're cooking these guys up. Big old bass. I threw a chunk of ice in there and they all came running. They know what time it is, they're hungry. everybody welcome back I'm back at the house as you can see the crappie has been sitting in the lime and lemon juice for around an hour and a half almost two hours uh, saltwater fish we do it in the Caymans all the time saltwater fish ceviche you do not have to soak it nearly that long so um, freshwater fish it's just something different my buddy over at Texas bread actually showed me this idea and I uh, went to his house the other day and it was amazing. So I had to do it for you guys. Um, I went to the store earlier. I got uh, some fresh cilantro, uh, a whole cucumber, a whole bell pepper, a whole uh, red onion, an orange, and a one jalapeno chopped up. I got about a tablespoon of olive oil and then, of course, some critter glitter. And uh, so what I did with this crappie, I took uh, 10 fillets and I chopped them up into about, about half inch pieces um, and then put about a cup to a cup and a half of um, half lemon juice and half lime juice. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and dump this into this pan that we're gonna mix it in. Juices and everything. Then I'm gonna take olive oil, put that in there. Take some critter glitter. I want it to get on the fish, so. Put about, uh, put as much as you want. That'd be good like that. Oh, this smells so good. This just reminds me of being at the beach, and I love it. So that just looks like money. All right, then we're gonna take our cilantro. Put that in there. I might have put done too much of this stuff for how much fish I have. I love cucumbers though, so I'll put all those in there. Same with bell peppers and onions. Bell peppers. I'll just go straight in. Here, we'll do this right here. Jalapeno. Gotta have some heat to it. Whole onion. And some bell peppers. like that. Then we're going to take our orange, just add a little bit of citrus flavor um, on top of the lime and lemon that's already in there. It's kind of a little bit sweeter. You can actually cut up the orange too and uh, put chunks of orange in there with it and that's super good as well. So that, I'll just mix it around. And then I bought an avocado but it was like rock hard so I can't put that in there. This recipe, you can pretty much add anything that you like. 
Um, a lot of people put tomato, mango, and fruits, and all kinds of stuff like that. Um, I just didn't buy everything. Tomatoes aren't my favorite anyway, so. Uh, this is the finished product. It looks delicious, and it smells absolutely amazing. Then you take these some scoops. Some Tostita scoops. And you dig in. Let's see what this tastes like. Got some fish on there. Got everything on there. Mm. It's so good. If you've never had, if you've never had ceviche in your life, it would probably be a little different to you, just because of the texture of the fish. It's um, it's not like eating raw fish. I don't know how to explain it, but it's not like eating a piece of fried fish. <clears throat> Make sure you go over to my merch site. We just dropped um, some 4th of July merch. We have a bundle, super cheap, super affordable, and it looks awesome. Uh, go get your America gear for 4th of July. Um, I'll leave the link in the description. Y'all go check that out. If you've never had ceviche, try this recipe. Tell me what you think. Leave it in the comments if you've ever had ceviche, because it is one of my favorite dishes ever. But that is gonna wrap this video up. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat dinner.